Come on, back, start, start, start. We're, we're, yeah, we're yeah. late. Yeah, 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 no, we got it. <laughs> Missed the face off, but not much else. Shot and saved by Jeff. And oh, it, it almost trickles past him, but he's able to get it. Sorry, folks. I was uh, chugging a Gatorade with uh, talking. Throughout all of this, your throat gets uh, gets kind of dry, and you want to lubricate it. So that's what I did there, and that's why I missed the faceoff, for which I apologize. Well, when you saw in that play, one of the things that bothers people about uh, about Jeff and Goal is that he will he can get in front of it, but he doesn't always control it once he gets a partial block on it. And sometimes it results in the ball just sort of bouncing over him or around him or through him and going into the net. Uh, there was one time actually that they lost the uh, they lost a TGIS tournament because of a play like that. Good shot, good save by the goaltender there, and it's still loose. I don't think he knows enough to fall on it. And able to do so. Good couple stops there by the goaltender. And that's something, again, that will come with experience here. With experience, you know, don't just fall down and, and block it. You'll know to reach out and grab it because that will get you a faster uh, that'll get you a faster whistle and more time to recover. What you saw there really was that one of the players sort of played it underneath him in an attempt to make it happen. Shot another save by the goaltender. Yeah, that's Sabi Khan, a very good defender. Uh, not usually called on to shoot, but here he was able to get the shot off from the point, led to a save. And another shot attempt, but it goes wide. Rolls through the crease, but still went wide. Usassin starting his third period of action with, so, or I'm sorry, the Street Sharks starting his third period of action with some offensive chances already. And they're already up a goal, so that's big. I don't know what Mike Ashley was doing kneeling down in front of the goal, but uh, it didn't work. We got a home run play here. And as you can see there, the Musassins get to it first. That means icing is a non-factor. Yep, icing waved off there because they were able to beat the defender. But not able to do anything with it because it was out of their zone pretty quickly. They got a little bit of fast break action here. Both teams like to run. Shot to save. You can see he's getting better at it already. Uh, yeah. Alertly not moving, just staying in position there, and the refs are able to whistle it dead. You know, and something like that, if he, if you think you have it and you don't, the referee will often tell you that it's a loose ball. Yep. Shot attempt is blocked by the uh, by the Musassins. Chris has it now. Long pass up the boards. And a little a little bit of stick work there, but good job by the Sharks. Oh, shot and a save by Jeff, and he falls on it. And there you can see what we were talking about earlier. He had the save, didn't realize he had it, and it was just sort of sitting in front of him. His teammates had to tell him, no, put your glove down in front of you in order to cover it. Uh, we've seen situations like that where the ball has, you know, where somebody has just sort of wrenched it out from under him and put it into the net. That, that's kind of been his weakness, his Achilles heel for most of his career. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff's stopping enough now to keep his team uh, ahead, three to two. Face off happening now, won by the Musassins. And cleared out by Mateo successfully. Now, is that going to be icing? No, he was he was at center when he when he All right. in. Shot and a save. So a shot from almost behind the net there, but the goaltender uh, able to make the save. A, a not a very good angle taken by Mike Staley on that shot. I guess he's figuring that with a rookie goalie he might get lucky, but really he should have uh, tr tried to pass that off or made a fake out. Won by the Sharks, but the Musassins come away with it quickly. Oh, and Sharks not able to keep it in. They really should have, but, and still offsides, and now they're good. And you can see they're almost trying to buy an offside call there, trying to keep the ball in their position. Because uh, now, look at what's happening. It's going back and forth. Sharks going to hit across the neutral zone. Mateo's going to grab it, though. Mateo going to try to put a rush of his own together. He falls. He's He trips, uh, I think, is more likely. Hard to say who got the better of that one, really. And a long shot, but it goes wide. And uh, it's good to see no harm there. Nobody, uh, you know, nobody trying to buy for more than they get. Uh, both players just get right back up and keep on playing. Yep, absolutely. Abe has it now. He's going to pass the center. Trying to get back to him, but uh, that one bounced off of somebody's foot, which uh, broke up the uh, broke up the attack. Now Chris is going to try and do it on his own. And able to bring into the zone. Pass to Abe. Abe's gonna pass the center, but there's nobody but a Street Sharks player there. And a long pass. Abe's gonna get it, pass the center. And 
a little bit of a... Musashi is hanging back a little bit in the neutral zone. Now they're gonna put a, a, a rush together. Well, let's be honest here. There's 10 minutes left in the game. It's not like they have to be. Uh, it's not like they have to be, you know, rushing through this one or or putting on the full court press. It's only a one goal game. They can take their time, look for the good shot. Absolutely. Uh, Chris Dorp uh, just a bit ago had a shot, but it went went high. And Musashi still keeping it in the zone. Backhand opportunity, but it's blocked. Another backhand opportunity by Abe there, but it's blocked. Good job of the Moose Assassin's defenders keeping it in, but oh, no, no, and it trickles out. out. I, I'm surprised there's no offside call there. It looked like it hit the right that was in the zone. I realize that's sort of splitting hairs, but still. But regardless, whistle does not happen and play will continue. And Chris looking for the play. Able to hit along the boards there. Abe tries to retrieve it, but Mike uh, stole it from him. Mike dumps it, but he dumps it right to Chris. Now they're going to try again, but uh, no, no, too soon. This is what Chris does so well, stick handling. He tried to take on the entire team, though. That might have been asking too much. And Abe's going to dump it to Chris, but it, good good job breaking it up there. Tree Shark's going to dump it in deep. They can play the dump and chase game right now because they're the ones who are ahead. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't try to get too comfortable with that. In a one-goal game, the first thing you want is the insurance goal. Right, absolutely, but it's working for him right now. They're... Oh, Mike Stanley, a great play to keep it in. Oh, deserve more than a blocked shot there. Uh, full extension on the blue line, able to keep it in, plays it down, chases his team off, makes the first touch so it's not a hand pass, and then was getting a shot. Unfortunately, it was blocked. The Moussassin's in the zone now. And it's going to go all the way down. Will this be icing? No, no they're going to wave, wave it off. Probably a good wave off. Uh, the the uh, defender wasn't exactly putting on the jets here to try and keep up with it. And Mike still has it. Get back. Now Mike Staley with it. Past the center. Intercepted by the defender. But uh, just playing around with it, just really not doing anything. That's kind of a surprise. And Musassins definitely need to be more aggressive here if they if they want to get that tying goal, uh, let alone a, a goal to put them ahead. Now we talked earlier about how you know the time was on their side, but time is never on your side when you're in the defensive zone. Exactly. Long shot, but it goes wide. Oh, my God. And, oh they're gonna keep it in. And was blocked by a defender. Might have been a good thing. I'm not sure. Uh, not sure if the goalie would have seen it in time. Another shot goes wide, a lot of and the Sharks spending uh, spending a lot of time in the offensive zone here. The Assassins might just want to ice it and, and and then change, but they're gonna put a rush together now. Uh, unlike at the uh, professional or semi-pro level, if you ice, you are still allowed to change your line in this league. Yep, absolutely. And the Sharks again, good defense there, breaking up these. Uh, these uh, odd man rushes. Olga's back for it now. He's gonna hit it up, but there's a uh, there's Gary. Not really his name, I don't think. If his name really does turn out to be Gary, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry. Yeah. Anyway, Jeff able to cover it up there. Right now with six minutes to go, it looks like the Sharks are trying to do just enough to win. And if you do just, uh, it, uh, that might not even be saying it correctly. Are they playing not to lose at this point? I don't know if they're, uh, I don't think so. I mean, they're putting shots on. Uh, most of them are going wide, though, they're, and they're spending a lot of time in the uh, in the offensive zone. Uh, I definitely think they want that goal. Nothing's, uh, nothing's gone in the back of the net yet, though. Well, this one's coming back unless they can get to it in time. No, they're going to wave it off. A little board work there, and now in the corner. Trying to pass, pass the, the center, and it's oh, stopped no. by the goaltender. And it's still loose. It's loose. Loses, or, loses his glove. And bear in mind, that's exactly how that player scored the goal and put them up by the game number three. The exact same player trying to make sure that he can stop a freeze and get a rebound. And it almost worked again. A goaltender losing his glove there, but uh, the Moussas is able to dump it out of the zone in time. And that's now fully geared up. That now he's back to it. You know, strange. you usually see a stick go flying from the goal, not the glove. 
Yep, but that will happen, especially if the equipment's not fitted to your uh, exact size. That's true. And I think that suds and stuff, so not much is fitted to, to your size unless your suds is height. What I'm trying to say is suds is short, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, well, you've got to work on your delivery, man. Yeah, I know, right? No rider, folks. I probably need one, if but as of now, no rider. If you're going to make fun of the commissioner, you got to make sure you, you you deliver it full blast. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. I mean, the Mike Staley and Chris Thorpe take face off now. One by Mike. Kept in by the Sharks, but only momentarily. And Chris Thorpe has a rush now. And good. The B con with the defense to break up the breakaway. Very well done, but Abe keeps it in the zone. We can still have a tying goal here. Yep, and Mateo now has it. Drags around uh, behind the net. Stolen. Who's actually trying to put together a. Trying to get a goal here. Not able to keep it in the zone. And I think he's going to be waved off because yeah. they're going to rule that Abe had a play on it. Oh, he definitely did. He tried to reach down and grab it rather than use his stick, and that's why it got past him. But you're not going to get away with that. Nope. So remember, folks, a uh, new change this season is that there is no overtime, no shootout in the regular season. So if the Musasses do tie this up with Chris Thorpe uh, on the rush here, um, and it, if they are not able to get another goal, the game's just going to end in a tie. Yeah, we, the, the shootout's taking up too much time. When we expanded the league, we kind of had to get rid of it in order to stay within our parameters. Yeah, but so far, the Sharks doing a good job of uh, keeping this a one-goal game. And long clear by Mike. And Let me tell you something, Mike Staley has just been everywhere today. He uh, he deserves some consideration for player of the game in my book. Yep, absolutely. And Mateo there working against Abe. A slow trickling shot that uh, Jeff is able to easily cover. So and now another rule. Uh, hopefully the uh, hopefully the timekeeper is on his game here because if this keeps up, remember one goal difference, one minute left. We go from a rolling clock to a stop clock, and we're under the three minute mark now. So it's going to be an issue pretty soon. Yep, Mike Ashley of the Sharks now hitting it up, but it's going to go way deep. I think that's Brittany back to take it for the Assassins. Now, remember earlier when there was 10 minutes left, we said that the Assassins could afford to take their time, look for the right shot. Now it might be time to start pressing the issue. And that's what they're doing right now. Oh, oh no. and it hits the top of the post. Assassins almost getting the third goal there, but saved by the post. Dumped in deep. Sharks need to clear it. Not able to do so yet. Another shot, but it's blocked. Shot attempt, rather. Good work in the corner. And it's going to go right to right to the Sharks. And they are able to get out of the zone now. This is going to be called for icing, but not going to much matter. And now the Musassans are calling the timeout under two minutes. It's probably the right time to do it. And now, if you're the Musassans, I'm going to ask right now. Let's take a look at what the official time says. They're going to put it at a minute 57. At what point do you pull this goalie here, go with six players, and throw everything forward to try and get that extra goal? Well, you don't want to give uh, give the other team too much time with an empty net. I think they pull the goalie at a minute. Uh, we'll see if they pull the goalie uh, sooner than that. Uh, but you, you got to be sure if you have that empty net, you got to be sure you are sound defensively in that you don't prevent a long uh, empty net chance. That's true. And uh, just for reference sake, if you remember from the earlier game we taped today, the license to throw called their timeout at 135, and that's when they pulled their goalie. Right. Well, we were supposed to tape it. Didn't, didn't no, work we out. we taped it. We did. Oh, yes, we did. That's right. That was the boogies and license to throw, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, that's the one you were busy playing. Yeah, I remember now. I should hope so. I, I mean, I assume the drugs haven't kicked in that hard yet. <laughs> No, no, they have not. But myself getting impaled on my stick earlier in the Greenback Boogies game. Had to take some uh, some pills, completely legal pills. It was nothing more than ibuprofen. But now there, there you can see Chris Thorpe just sitting on the doorstep, hoping to get a redirect. That's what you need to do. You need to have people spread out. But shot and a save by Jeff. Good, good position there. You can almost see the panic now on the side of the, of the street sharks. Minute 35 left All in the game. Deck and, defense. and there's Mike Staley again, poking it away from the sport. And good clear out of the zone by the Sharks. Abe has it now. 
He's going to pass it across, but it's going to be stolen. Breaks away. Oh, and good job by the Musasas to recover from that one. That could have uh, that could have ended badly for them. Chris has to be more shot. careful. That shot's wide. Jeff's got to make sure that he has his, that he has his head on a swivel here, that he's able to move back and forth. And a minute five, we'll see if they pull the goalie. Still no sign. I'll keep an eye on it over here. We have reached the one minute mark. And interesting, interesting by the Moussas is not pulling their goalie yet. Now Abe trying to, uh, trying to do something with it. A lot of confidence here. I don't even, part of the problem is Chris Thorpe being the captain. He's out on the floor right now. I, I don't think he, uh, I mean, nobody else on their team might know to pull the goalie. Mike Ashley now has it. Shot and, and a goal. So shot by Mike Ashley. Uh, I don't know who had the assist there, but oh, that's going to count. Long a long play. We were discussing where was the goalie, why was he still on the net, and uh, a situation like that, it almost made sense. But Mike Ashley, I, it was almost a mirror image of the goal that Chris Thorpe had coming out of the penalty box. He saw the clear, he grabbed the clear, went around the defender. All he had to do was slap it home, and that's going to be even an experienced goalie, and that's how this game is going to end, with the Sharks getting the win, 4-2 over the Musassans. Mike Ashley with two goals, he's going to get the first start. We'll talk to him later. Yeah, absolutely. Folks, thank you for tuning in. Uh, uh, the, for the this feature game here, this period of play sponsored by Capital Records. We'll see you next week. All right.